Hi, this is Christina, and welcome to another uh, part of Red Hat Dreamers Views Home Loan Quick Start demo. And um, in this series of demo, we're trying to take you through um, building a Dreamers uh, Views Camel application from scratch. And um, from previous demo, uh, I have taken you to look at um, how to read uh, um, files from um, a folder directory and how to do um, content switch be, um, based on the content of the XML file and place it into different messaging queue. And we have also looked at um, how to actually read the XML file and store information into a database. And um, from the last demo, I have taken you to look at um, how to interact with the Google App Engine. And um, so as I said, um, we have broken down our um, demo into um, different parts to make sure that it suits the current microservices architecture. Um, but for, for part four, I'm what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put everything that's related to the housing application together so we don't overdo microservices. And um, and in previous, as I said in previous demo, I have gone through um, to uh, do the routes that does the uh, interaction with uh, Google, Google App Engine. If you um, have not seen that, please go and check it out. Um, so in this part of the demo, this is the part where we actually read certain information in from the housing messaging queue um, in the beginning. And then we're going to send the messaging, messaging content um, to different location that we did before. And after that, uh, we're going to process it, calculate the um, end result, get the extra appraisal, and then insert it into a database and store it there. So this is what we're doing in part four of our application. And this is how we do it. So um, this is um, a continuous one from the previous video. And as you can see, we have already created the housing, the house appraisal project. And we have actually created uh, two different routes that, is, that has been interacting or integrating the Google App Engine. So we're going to create a new one. And this one, we're going to read the information from the, um, the house queue that was uh, sent from um, the data receiver project that's uh, been receiving XML file from the vendor. And then we are going to um, send this information into another queue and we're sending it to this queue and uh, we're going to use the, uh, the in and out pattern because we want to make sure that we have the message, uh, the, the returned content from this messaging queue. And what this messaging queue sends is that it's going to send the information into the queue and our other routes, which is actually interacting with the uh, Google App Engine and getting the location, it's going to actually go through that route and get the information back and put it put it back into this location and then we're going to continue on um, and then we're going to do a logging uh, we just want to make sure that everything's all right so we're just going to add the log components and here you see that we're going to send it into another messaging queue um, we're sending it into the messaging queue um, it's called school number as you can see it's actually calling our other other routes which is going to ask for a number of schools surrounding that this this particular address that we're uh, we're actually asking, and we're doing it through messaging queue because we want to keep it. Um, we want to make sure that we keep it asynchronized. Okay, so now what we're doing here is we're going to do a message processor, calling a message processor because we're actually playing with the um, the actual message within the camel routes. And here I'm going to implement a um, a processor which is inherited inside the camel. Um, so what this does is that it's going, it's going the, the content that's going through this, uh, this POJO is going to be the exchange. And I'm going to use this processor because I want to get the original message out uh, because I want the whole entire housing, inf the XML information. So I'm just getting it out and setting the, um, the housing the housing number I've got into a header so I can use it later later. So here I'm just just I'm just adding this bin into the camera route. And so the content is passing through this processor and then um, setting everything uh, into the place at once. So what happens here is I'm going to reuse one of the uh, the 
the data transformation endpoint that I have previously defined, which is converting the XML file into Pojo, because I really want to use Pojo, it's easier for me to work with. And then um, I'm going to add a log. I'm just adding log um, into um, different places so I, I can see what is actually going on, just to make sure that everything's all right. So here I'm just printing out the number of schools that's returned um, from the previous, you know, uh, the asynchronous the process, the routes that I'm calling. Okay, so now um, let's, I'm going to create another class. And this class, I'm going to uh, the Java Pojo, and this Pojo is going to call a Bristle Processor. So from the name, you could actually guess, it's actually doing the, the, the quoting and the Bristle. Um, so it'll have two methods. Because this is um, a migration from my previous project, so I already have two methods. I don't want to you know, change everything, so I'll leave it as two method thing. So um, the first method is actually do a normal quote. So it's actually based on the, the house size or the bathroom size or the number of bathrooms or a bedrooms. It's going to do a basic a, a quoting of the house. Um, and then it's going to do uh, another quoting based on the schools. And what and uh, what happens here is um, I'm going to register my app, my my Pojo, my personal Pojo into the uh, camel context. And how do I add um, my how do I inject my my processor bin into the route? Here's how to do it. Just drag a um, bin endpoint into the canvas, and select my select your your bin name, and just call just put down the the method that you're gonna call. So um so in the second method, I'm going to uh call the the ones that is actually doing the special quoting with the school, but as you can see, it's taking in two parameters. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually telling the I'm actually telling um my bin I'm I'm sending two things in. One is my my pojo is is gonna be in my body, is my body, of my camel. And then I'm going to send a number of schools surrounded by this address, which is inside header. So this is how you do um, parameters parsing in Camel. Very straightforward. Now I'm going to store everything uh, into a database. So I need to set up the data source as well. So I need to tell it where what drivers I'm using or where my database is, and then um, set this data source into my SQL component. So I have everything here. And um, because you, you all know that I don't want to, um, you know, write SQL code in my camel route. So I'm always going to put my um, SQL components or my SQL queries, I'm sorry, SQL queries into the properties. So here are my properties that I've copied in um, previously. And so I don't have to worry about it anymore. And now I'm just placing my, uh, my SQL components inside the camel canvas. And here I'm just um, I'm just uh, writing the name of uh, the name for my SQL query inside my compo inside my property, and it's gonna do a delete then insert. So it's actually using the two uh, things I'm the two variables that I'm I have in my properties. So that's it. Uh, see you in next video.